I'm Chris Neiman with Sure. I'm part of our market development group. I'm excited to be at BSW today to talk to you about the UHF TV spectrum and the auction that we're currently wrapping up and how that's going to affect wireless microphones. Uh, Chris, we've all heard about the 600 megahertz auction, uh, but can you tell us what it's all about? It's a great question. The 600 megahertz auction really is something that was mandated by Congress uh, for the FCC to find more spectrum to operate in, for mobile devices to operate in, specifically, really. Uh, it's become more and more important to all of us with our portable devices that we want to stream whatever it is that we want to stream, mostly videos uh, these days. It's, it's crushing the amount of information is shared over the airwaves now in this fashion. And we need more and more spectrum to do that. And the FCC's job in what they're tasked with doing is finding a way to get more space. And, uh, you know, as some folks inside of Shure like to say, you can't just make more of it. There's a finite amount of it. And uh, so the FCC has to find chunks and spaces and reorganize and reallocate. And that's what the 600 megahertz auction is really all about, is reclaiming some spectrum uh, of that UHF TV band that's in the 600 megahertz space. So do we yet know how much spectrum we'll be losing to the broadband folks? Yes, this is great. We know exactly how much we're losing. It's 84 megahertz. Uh, it's interesting how we got there. There was some whittling down, some back and forth, a reverse auction, a forward auction, and we finally got the amount of spectrum whittled down to where supply actually met the demand and that number is 84 megahertz. So from 614 megahertz on up to 698, now that's the spectrum that has been auctioned off. Now what does that mean for wireless microphone users, particularly broadcasters? Mm, great question. Because really there's, there's two parts to that answer. Uh, you know, BSW sells to a lot of broadcasters, but also to a lot of folks who might be considered broadcasters, but by the FCC's definition are a little bit different. Uh, it's possible that broadcasters have licenses to operate legally in certain chunks of spectrum. And they also have, um, they're granted certain uh, leeway to operate where everyone else, all the other wireless mic users, which is the vast majority of wireless mic users, would have to uh, give way, so to speak, to anyone with a license. Chris, say if we currently own equipment that utilizes the 600 megahertz band, how long can we continue to use it? The FCC has to issue a channel repack assignment. This is where the TV stations get repacked to their new TV station. Once we have that information, you have a 39 month period where you can continue to legally operate unless the new owners of the spectrum, the broadband owners, fire up their service. Once that happens, you have to get out of Dodge, get off those TV stations, or excuse me, off of those broadband stations now. And what happens if, uh, say, I continue to use my 600 megahertz product outside of the allowable period? You'll go up in flames. You really shouldn't do that. Uh, we wouldn't advise it. Um, it you probably need to look for other more spectrally efficient wireless that, that operates outside of that band. During the 700 megahertz transition, uh, Sure offered a trade-in. Are there any plans to do so again? Well, stay tuned. We want to help people transition however we can. The rebate uh, that we offered 700 megahertz was great. Stay tuned. A lot of people want to know what to do with their 600 megahertz wireless equipment after its expired use. So you really need to consider just getting rid of that equipment, whatever that means, whether it goes in the trash compactor or you send it to some place that, that it can be legally used. Okay, Chris, what is your favorite Shure microphone of all time? Oh boy, you know, in recent times, I really like our KSM 141. Uh, I, that thing gets used all over the place it's, and it's very versatile. It can handle high SPL, I love it. But what sits on the desk at home is an SM7B, and I love that thing too.